Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today's video is in connection with your previous video. In the last video, we have shown the CFD analysis of an evacuated tube solar collector. Today's video will be an extension of that one. Today I will be showing a parametric study and optimization of evacuated tube solar collector. So without wasting time, let us see what we did in the last analysis, right? Let us see the results and we'll optimize the results. Initially, we'll go for parametric study of the results and finally we'll go for optimization. So without wasting time, let us see the results what we got in our last analysis. Let us load the results and see what we got in our last analysis. Now we can see the results we have already analyzed. Just for comparative study and analysis, we'll see the results once again. We want to view the goal plots only. Let us see the goal plots from here. Insert. We'll select all the goals and we'll see it from here itself. These are the set of results we got from our previous analysis. That means we have provided air from this inlet opening at a velocity of near about 3 meter per second. And finally, we got the temperature at different locations. In the collector, we're having two different trays. And the thing is, hot air is being collected at this collector and at the tray, we're trying to dry the different types of chips. At tray number one, we got average temperature as 57.18 degrees centigrade and tray number two, we got 59.58 degrees centigrade, right? And also, we got temperature at different locations. In the heat pipe, we're having different sections like condenser, evaporator and also Adiabatic section. So we got temperature at the condenser as 221.38 degrees centigrade and at the evaporator as 221.98 degrees centigrade. That means temperature difference between the condenser and evaporator is very less. But at the same time, we got the temperature at the intermediate collector that is at the chamber, at the cylindrical chamber equal to 186.87 degrees centigrade and average temperature of fluid on trays equal to 59.87 degrees centigrade. Right, so next one we'll go for some parametric study. In that parametric study, we'll see what are the different ranges of temperatures obtained at the trace. That means we want to get average temperature of trace by changing the different input variables. Input variables may be the diameter of the heat pipes, or even maybe the length of the heat pipes, or even maybe the uh, mass flow rate of air from the inlet of this intermediate chamber. We can vary any other thing and see what are the different ranges at the trace okay so we'll close it and see we'll go for parametric study okay for starting parametric study you have to start with solve a new parametric study and as i told earlier that for starting a new parametric study we have to depend on different types of input variables input variables may be obtained from the boundary conditions or it may be obtained from the geometry so initially I will take the geometry only that means we want to increase the length of these heat pipes as the input variables and by changing the length of heat pipes we will see what are the temperature ranges available at the trace. Ultimately we want to get the temperature of tray to be more than 60 degrees centigrade. Okay. See at what length of the heat pipe the temperature at the tray will be more than 60 degrees centigrade. After getting that idea next one we will go for optimization to that specific amount of temperature okay now for starting that optimization we have to select it from here initially we will select for design of experiments and optimization that means we will select different ranges of length and based on the range we will find out the different ranges of temperature at the tray okay now we have to select the input variables as I told input variable will be length of the heat pipe. So we have to go to the geometry and let us select the dimension parameters from here. Next to that we have to select that dimension from that copper heat pipe and we can go back to the model for getting that dimensions. So this is the model. I can check these different parameters. 
this is the pivot actually you can see the geometry of this object so initially the length was 1300 millimeter let us change this one we have selected the length of this copper 8 pipe and that to be updated here now we want a range to be specific amount let us select some discrete ranges we want to make the lengths to be smaller let's see what are the effects right we'll make the lengths from 0.6 meter to 1 meter so we can change it from here itself we want to have discrete ranges or we can provide a range in between also let us provide some discrete values that means we want to provide specific ranges right with specific values initially we'll fix the length of that copper heat pipe to be 0 0.6 meter next one will be 0 0.7 meter zero point eight meter zero point nine meter and finally we select the fifth one as one meter with different ranges of this eight pipe lengths we'll find out what are the temperature ranges obtained at the trace done and next to that you have to select that output parameters and output parameters are dependent on goals you can select it from goals initially we will select all the parameters and these are the goals based on those different lengths we will get all these goal plots selected now let us see the scenarios we are having five numbers of experiments. Let us create those experiments and we can start it. We can run this one and see at what different lengths we are getting what are the different goal plots obtained. Right? So from this analysis, we will see the actual trend. If the length of the heat pipe is increasing, how will be the trend of this temperature at the trace? Whether it is increasing or decreasing that can be seen and based on that we can go for some kind of design optimization okay let us run this one and see the results what it is providing okay let's run this so our result is obtained at different links of this copper heat pipe we're getting the results right you we'll see the results right now so the results obtained as like that we can view all these things in the form of graph also we can see that when the length of the heat pipe is decreasing we're getting the temperature at the trace to be increased right when the length of the heat pipe is 0.6 meter the average temperature on trace is 61.27 degrees centigrade and when it is more that is 0.7 meter average temperature is 60.84 when it is 0.8 meter average temperature is 60.18 degrees centigrade when it is 0.9 meter Average temperature is 59.96 and again finally when the length of the heat pipe is 1 meter average temperature on trace is equal to 60.18 meter by the same time you can see all the temperatures at the tray number 1 and tray number 2 are also having same trend that means by decreasing the length of the heat pipe you can see that there is an increase in temperature of the trace right so if you want to get more temperature on the trace definitely you have to decrease the length of the heat pipe Okay, so with this idea, next to that we will go for some kind of optimization. Suppose we want to get the average temperature of trace equal to 62 degrees centigrade. From this data, we can confirm that the length of the heat pipe should be definitely less than 0.6 meter. Because as the length of heat pipe is reducing, the temperature at the tree is also increasing. So next analysis will go for optimization. In that optimization, we we'll select the, the length of the heat pipe from 0.25 meter to 0.55 meter. Okay, let us close these things and go for optimization. While going for optimization, we have to start from solve. 
new parametric study and again we have to start from here as goal optimization so in this optimization you have to select only one goal and that to be optimized only one goal we are fixing as temperature at the tray to be 62 degrees centigrade for that you have to change the input variable and the input variable should be the length of the heat pipe uh, we have already planned that length of the heat pipe should be within the range from 0.25 meter to 0.55 meter it may so happen that within this range the optimization may not take place maybe we have to increase the range again right let us see initially whether the range is okay or not if it is not okay in that case we can increase the range okay right so for optimization we have to select our input variable again we will select the input variable from here like previous case so we have to go to the model again and select the input variable definitely it will be the length of the heat pipe as the input variable when selecting that length as the input variable that is 1300 millimeter length of the heat pipe as the input variable selected next to that we have to select that specific range within which range we have to optimize our results right so we have to select the range from here as i told before the range we are trying to fix from 0.25 meter to 0.55 meter 0 0.25 meter to 0 0.55 meter because we are reducing the length of the heat pipe we're going to check and next to that to select some target that means our target should be to have the temperature the tray to be 62 degrees centigrade for that we have to select the output parameters and again output parameters are dependent on goals in this case we have to select only one goal as the optimizing parameter it will be average temperature fluid on trace right we are selecting average temperature on trace as a goal goal is decided next we have to select the criteria to select the target and target value should be 62 degrees centigrade target is dependent on goals and it is average total temperature on trace let us put the targets right now target will be 62 degrees centigrade we have to achieve this target with a variation of plus minus 0 0.1 degree centigrade Green check target specified next to that we have to see the scenario and run this simulation that means we have selected the range of the heat pipe from 0.25 meter to 0.55 meter so let us run this simulation and we'll see the results whatever we're getting okay let's run it we can see here our solution is conversed that means we got the results at different ranges of this heat pipe with two values only we got the optimized data we can see when the length of the heat pipe is 0.55 meter in that case average temperature is 59.95 degrees centigrade and in that case we got deviation from the results as minus 2.04 degrees centigrade so and in the second design point when it was 0.25 meter in that case we got average temperature of trace 62.07 degrees centigrade and in that case we got deviation of 0 0.07 degrees centigrade which is valid one because we wanted to have this result to be obtained with the variation of 0.1 degree centigrade so result is obtained with a specific range okay so our result is optimized right so this is our result with this one we can conclude our analysis so instead of stopping it here we can go for some other different types of analysis like changing the input variables we can change the mass flow rate of air and the entry of intermediate collector and see uh, what are the different ranges of temperature obtained at the trace okay even we can change the diameter of the heat pipe to see the variation of temperature ranges obtained at the trace with this one we will conclude our analysis today thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts 
please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye